In this video, we will be looking at properties of summation and then the summation formulas and a few problems that deal with those. Press pause to copy these in your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. To give uh, an intuitive proof of this first property, let's look at the summation as i goes from 1 to 5 of 3i. So in this case, k is 3, and then our ith term is just i. Well, if we were going to write this out, this would be 3 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 3 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5. So our i goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, we have always the coefficient 3 on each term. Well, we know by the distributive property that the 3 can come out. And we would have just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And so this is the same as 3 times the summation as i goes from 1 to 5 of i. This second property just says that if we have a polynomial and we want a summation of that polynomial, we can split it up into the summation of each of its terms. Now the formulas for summation, again, press pause to copy these in your notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. Our first formula, an example of that would be if I had the summation as i goes from 1 to 3 of the constant 5. Remember that if we need to, we can write this as the summation as i goes from 1 to 3 of 5i to the 0 power. This then gives me 5 times 1 to the 0 plus 5 times 2 to the 0 plus 5 times 3 to the 0. Now anything to the 0 power is 1, so this is 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 5 times 3. So we take our constant times our upper bound of our summation. Now to give an intuitive proof of the second formula, um, I'd like to show you the method that Gauss used when he was in elementary school. The teacher asked him the class to add up the numbers from 1 to 100. So he wrote the numbers down and then matched up the first and the last and got 101 when he added those. And then he added the second one and the second to the last and he got 101. And uh, he took the third one and the third from the last and got 101. And so he noticed that he would have 50 of those number pairs. So the sum from 1 to 100 would be 50 times 101. So this is 
are 100 divided by 2 times 101, or according to our formula, n, which was 100. So n times n plus 1 divided by 2. All right, now these other two uh, we'll just need to memorize. Um, at this point, we're not going to prove those. But notice that all four of these formulas are ways that we can take a sigma notation statement and write the equivalent algebraic statement without a summation. So if we have an I squared, we can write this product, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. And that'll be the equivalence of summation as I goes from 1 to n of I squared. And I cubed is n squared times the quantity n plus 1 squared divided by 4. Now let's do a problem using these. We're asked to use the properties of summation and the summation formulas to evaluate the sum and verify your results with the calculator. Now we know from our second property of summation that we can split these two terms up and write this as the summation as i goes from 1 to 20 of 2i plus the summation as i goes from 1 to 20 of 3. Then from our first property we know that we can pull this 2 out in front so this is the same as 2 times the summation as i goes from 1 to 20 of i plus the summation as i goes from 1 to 20 of 3. Now if we use our second formula right here to write this as an algebraic statement, we have 2 times, I'm going to write the formula first, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And then for our second one, that's our constant, so we know that that is 3 times 20. My n in this case is 20. I'm going to go ahead and cancel my 2's. This 2 is in the numerator and this one's in the denominator. And for this problem, n is 20. So I have 20 times 21 and then plus 60. So 20 times 21 is 420 plus 60, which gives me 480. Now to verify our results, there's a number of ways that we can do this. Um, with the new TI-84 plus, we can hit alpha F, alpha F1, and we can see that we have a number of special functions. Um, this is for fraction use. Uh, if our next button, notice the second option there is a summation, so we could use that. 
and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use x for my variable. So x, I'm going from 1 to 20, and then 2x plus 3. Stats button, where we need it to edit. Um, if there's anything in the lists, we need to clear those out. So you sit on top of the L1 or L2, wherever your numbers are, and press the clear button. And press enter. And, and that make sure all of my lists are clean. And then um, my I, I'm going to enter L1. There's a quick way to do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and enter the numbers 1 through 20. And then in L2, I'm going to sit on top of the L2 button and enter my formula, which is 2 times L1 plus 3. And then I'm going to calculate one variable statistics, and I want to use L2 for that. And I see that the sum is 480.